Hello everyone, I'm Zelda Kelly with Psychic Secrets and today is your weekly reading, your weekly tarot reading for the week of February 12th through the 18th of 2023. This is a very loving week coming. We have Valentine's Day if you celebrate this. And also this is for all signs and please just take what resonates with you. I'm so glad that you're here. So let's get started. Angel Spirits Guides, what do you have in store for my friends today? What message would you like to tell? Okay, here we are. Cutting the deck. And we're going to start laying out these cards. And that is the Seven of Wands, the Judgment card, the Page of Swords, the Queen of Wands, We'll lay these right here. This is the Three of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands. That's a wonderful pair right here. I'm sorry, the Knight of Swords. My goodness, I looked at that wand. And the Wheel of Fortune. And on the bottom of the deck, we have this beautiful High Priestess. So I'm going to put her right to the side. Okay, so first of all, I want to mention that the Knight of Swords is really nicknamed the Lord of Wind and Breezes. And then the Page of Swords is nicknamed the Prince of Wind and Breezes. These are very airy cards and there's some similarities here. We're going to get to that in just a minute. I think this week, and let me move my little feather here for you. I think this week is going to be a week where you really set your boundaries. I think it's a good thing. I think that this is something that you should do. You really have put up with a lot coming into this year. And even January and coming into February, it looks as though there's been an awakening for you. It's like, wow, I just woke up to this situation and I need to take charge. And that's exactly what you have done. You've got a great outcome here. And I'm going to also say that it looks like you're collaborating, joining, being with people, getting good advice. And it could be a work situation. It, I do not think it's a love situation. I think it's more work. But I think this is just more personal in your everyday walk of life and your everyday, well, in your everyday just going about your own business. I think this is a wonderful time here because this tells me really, really a lot that with this Prince of, of Wind and Breezes, you see how the card goes off the frame. I'm sorry, the sword goes off the frame of the card. And this means there's much more to take care of, there's much more to do, and there's much more to accomplish. You see this very airy element right here. There's a lot of movement in this card, and I think that there's been a lot of movement for you too, putting some things together. This is very good for you because next to it, we have this beautiful Queen of Wands. Now, neither male nor female energy in this particular reading, because it is a general reading for all signs, but you resonate with the energy of this card. And look at that little kitty right there. <laughs> Don't you just love him? Well, this is a reminder of how gentle that she can be and that she can fight like a cat if she needs to. But that this little, well, this little sunflower here denotes that she uses wisdom and understanding in her ruling of the kingdom. That's you. This is a fire element card in which, well, you see that there's a lot of plenty of growth, plenty of opportunity coming, plenty, plenty more opportunity and good opportunity. This is a great card to have next to this very airy element because it feeds into each other. Now, we've talked about this three of pentacles, but I want to talk about it a little bit more. You see they're working together, coming together, working together, and that is exactly what you're going to be doing, and I think it's seeking advice. Now, with this judgment card, uh, the judgment card is a reawakening, and I'm taking it for that in this particular wait, uh, reading for you, because this reawakening really means that 
you are looking at your situation with a different outlook, with a different mindset. And with this lovely Lord of the wind and breezes, you see his sword goes off the frame of the card as well. That means that there's more to come, but that these two together tell me that your energy faces things head on. You want to just get things done and over with. You just want to just zip into a situation and handle it. What a wonderful attribute you have. I love this for you. There's more to come, more for you to take care of, but you're going to be seeking advice in your situation based on what it is that you need to be taken care of. But here is this wonderful wheel of fortune. This wheel of fortune tells us that things go round, they circle round, and sometimes they come back again. This can be a very lovely card, but it also has kind of a dark side to it, and that means make sure that you get things taken care of the way you need to get taken care of, and then you're going to make sure that things don't happen. It's not going to be a repeat of history again. History will not repeat itself, and you won't have to head it off at the pass. I think that may have happened with you. Let me know if it has. But it also can mean and does mean great fortune. It means blessings. It means wealth, health, and prosperity. And will sometimes chase you down. And I'm, I'm really, really thinking that that is going to happen with you. Lastly, we have this lovely High Priestess, another indication of a new beginning, but that you've been heavy in prayer and meditation and even affirmations making things work on your behalf. This is a wonderful card and it tells the story of how hard you've been working. Now, I want to get you a final message and my little, my little feather kind of blew over here, so we're going to keep it here. So I want to give you a final message. What is your final message for today, Angel Spirits Guides, on this beautiful week reading? I think you're going to be accomplishing quite a bit this week. That didn't count because it hit my finger. Okay, here we go. Angels, guides, spirits, final message for my friends. What is the final message? We're going to pick a card out. This is the drum roll part, right? Here we are. <laughs> that is your confirmation. I love it when that happens and you saw it here. And that happens often when there is a card that really, really needs, well, to confirm its meaning with you. So the end result of all this this week, if it seems like being very busy and putting your boundaries in place and collaborating and asking for advice and heading things off at the pass and facing your situation and waking up a little bit is going to result in this beautiful Wheel of Fortune card where blessings will definitely be chasing you down. I wish to, for all of you to have an absolutely blessed and wonderful week. My name again is Zelda Kelly and you can find me at PsychicSecrets.com and on social media as Psychic Zelda Kelly. And I, I really am glad that you're here today. Thanks so much and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.